How many of you have watched the movie Mission Impossible? Great. Did you notice there Mr. Hunt got short self-destructive messages? Well, my project is temporary systems driven by chemical fuels. I'm pretty sure you guys all fill up your cars. Yes, gasoline is a chemical fuel. Without gasoline, your car is an inactive carrier. Just imagine how postal service works. The postman comes in a vehicle to your place and deliver letters into the mailbox. Once his job is done, will he stay at your place? No, 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 he will just leave. That's exactly how my chemical systems are functioning. In the lab, what I have in my hand is an inactive vehicle, which is a molecule. I treat this inactive vehicle with a chemical fuel, which is yet another molecule. And this will form an energized or an activated form of the vehicle. This energized vehicle is short-lived and will thus be reverting to its original inactive vehicular form. This inactive vehicle is reactivated if you treat with another batch of the fuel. Meaning, as long as the fuel supply is maintained in the system, we can repeat this cycle again and again. Now, hence, on the other hand, because of the deactivation, there will be no toxicity. My energized vehicles will be used potentially as drug delivery agents. But what about the function? Switching between the active and inactive state is important because it's directly related to their job. To do the job, it should be in the activated form. And once the job is done, it will soon be deactivated. We are sort of trying to make biological mimics in the research lab. That's my energized, short-lived vehicles will be used for improved drug delivery to a specific target site in the human body after a predetermined time. The beauty of this method is there will be no toxicity issues as opposed to many conventional drug delivery techniques. Why? Because my energized vehicles will soon be deactivated into an inactive form once its drug delivery job is done. Therefore, this will immensely be beneficial in effectively treating many diseases, including cancer. Won't it be awesome? Thank you so much.